Welcome to the 24th Annual Global Oceanography Conference. It brings me great Hey everybody, welcome to a GameCast. This is Jaws Ultimate Predator for the Wii. Let's listen in on this gem. And CEO of PaleoCo, the world's largest non-profit organization dedicated to our oceans. This big shot is wearing a thumb ring on the right hand. Really? Thank you. Good morning, my fellow really? loving scientists. I'm here today because we are at a critical crossroad in our history. When protecting our oceans, and he's wearing a ring on his ring finger. Well, the thumb ring's gone now. Yeah. But about saving our very planet and therefore the human race itself. In order to answer this call of history, we at Palioko are proud to announce our latest and most ambitious initiative to date. Project Ocean Intervention. Thanks to the support of our patrons and the unprecedented cooperation of both the public and private sectors, we will be starting a global research program that will finally uncover the real impact of human industrialization on our oceans and help us find ways to preserve our planet in the process. Evil laugh here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just in the water. So, um... This early part really is kind of boring. It's just basically showing you how to how to swim and stuff. So we're gonna move forward. Let's go uh, a few levels in. Alrighty. So moving on for look at that. Wow. Is this uh, Uncharted Three? And we step back to a time where graphics sucked. Oh wait, no. This is present time. I don't know what this game <laughs> is doing. This is like N64 graphics, slightly upgraded. So we'll call it N65 graphics. Really? It's, it, it does look a little better than N6. I didn't get the 60s. I hated the controller, so. Really? It's a little better? Yeah. It, it's a little better. This is a little better? They were more boxy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. But even that was more exciting than this. Just saying. <laughs> All right, so this level, pretty much like all the other levels, uh, wreak havoc. Destroy this uh, sort of facility. Oh yeah, here we go. Free, free Willy! Oh, you missed. Whoa. So it was a free Willy. That was a free Willy. <laughs> okay, there you go. 100 points. That's your shark sense mode. Oh, is that jellyfish? Sure. So, um, up on the right-hand corner is health and rage, right? Yeah. Whoa! That's a beautiful dock made out of teak. <laughs> or toothpicks. That was one of your little special moves that you got to unlock. <laughs> sort of a cartwheel. Tailspin. He was trained by uh, Ryu from Street Fighter. And he spent a week together. I guess the key now, if you want to sort of do those cool little kill moves, those canned sort of sequences. Dun, 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 you the key, stealth attacks. You gotta sneak from behind. Yeah, you can't just you you can't just go head on. I learned my lesson. I died multiple times. Yep. I'm trying to do that. It really tries to keep the element of Jaws, the surprise attack, on hand. And um, to upgrade, you know, do the flips and everything. We need more stingrays, right? You have to collect certain fish. Yeah, in the upgrades, you got to collect stingrays to help uh, unlock uh, more combos and stuff like that. Yeah. What is going on here? <laughs> I have no You're in a phone booth with a diver <laughs> right on top of you there. Oh, you got. Is that your rage meter? Yeah. I think Jaws is trained by like Michael Jordan as well. A bit of hang time. <laughs> All right, got some divers. Get some divers. Yeah, that's, what is up with that? The divers are really prepared. Right when uh, the boat is <laughs> broken, they just come out with their pitchforks and knives. And they're all ready to go. Yes. Yeah. Like, they're the, they were like perfect, like uh, Boy Scouts. They were just always ready. Always be ready. We're all coming out for me. Yeah, and that's what Samuel Jackson should have learned in uh, deep. What was it, Tim? <laughs> uh, deep blue sea. Deep blue sea. 
Uh, we will find a way to get out of here. We will survive this. We will. Oh, dead. Greatest movie moment in history. Should have should have been prepared. Should have uh, had his harpoon ready. This is the most amount of divers I've seen on screen. Yeah, I think they have a tactic going on. It's like um, 300, better in num numbers, right? Okay, what's the rage meter? Gotta do the rage meter. It's like shaking the wheel. Shake the wheel. I think it's A button and shake it or something. A and shake. Uh, your rage is gone. One of the special moves in your rage meter that I think this is the only one we have unlocked right now. It's hard to find those stingrays. Are they camouflaged in the, um, the snow graphics <laughs> world? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the key, I guess, why you need to use your shark sense mode, which is what, the plus button? Yes. Um, you can see some things that are of interest of you to collect, like jellyfish, uh, crabs. You can see the shark teeth, those are like power-ups that, that'll replenish your health. So, yeah, it's always good to go into that mode when you have some time and do, um, pick up some stuff that's, uh, lying around. Yeah, and it's also good to go in that mode when you don't want to see the horrific graphics. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I think you just completed the, whoa, look at that spinning, oh, boss battle. Oh, look at that coming through the A fire. mech diver. Look out. That looks cinematically beautiful. Okay, I like <laughs> Alright, show some moves. Combo it up. The thing is, what does this uh, mech diver decide to do without a weapon? Poke you in the eye with his knee pads? Come on. This mech diver is lightning quick, though. Look at him. <laughs> I have to say, though, the one thing I do appreciate about this graphics. Uh, this horrible graphics experience is uh, the detail that they put into Jaws. They actually put a bit of scars on him, see that he's had his battles, right? It's nice to see, it's nice. He's a grizzled, wily old veteran shark. Yeah, he's been through a lot of battles. Still doesn't look pretty though. <laughs> Tim, how are you finding uh, the remote, the controls, the Wii remote with this game? Uh, very difficult. Uh, it'll take a bit of a while to actually just uh, get used to it. The learning curve is a little, a little steep, but once you do get the hang of it, um, it becomes a, a little bit easier, but still frustrating. For me, when I was playing, I found the most frustrating thing is the view. It's really hard to see what's around you. I wish they had different viewpoints to kind of zoom out of uh, where Jaws is. Um, but you know, also that's another challenging thing about the graphics. They're not the greatest. So when it goes in and out of um, between water and land view, it, it kind of uh, lags there. So it's really hard for you to see your enemies. Yep. Well, I got a good kill in there. That's what they look like. Um, when you, um, pretty much anything, you sneak up on you, press the AB button to, uh, well, you got to lock your targeting in, with the, which is the dash button. Um, and then you, uh, once you get close, Press the AB button, you'll get that little green circle, and then press it again to start that sequence with that shark tooth going across. And once it hits red, press AB again, and... Ah, oh, you wrecked it. Can't you do two in a row? Let's go. It's difficult. Like I said, controls are frustrating at times. At times. All the time. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's finish off this pier to start destroying. You don't use the... You don't use the, uh... Speed burst, do you? You just use this method here to knock stuff over. I just like the barrel and stuff. Just like in the real shark movies. This sort of butt stuff. Head butt stuff. Fact. Um, Jaws is the reason why uh, James doesn't go in ocean water. That is true. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I'm sure I'm not alone in this, you know, being a child of the but late 70s, 80s, growing up and watching Jaws when it came out. Uh, it scared the shit out of me. You're alone. Uh, You're alone in this room. <laughs> you, you, would you guys swim in oceans? Uh, I like to sometimes. I like to too until I discovered actually fish swim around you, <laughs> courtesy of my cousin that decided to give me goggles to look at the water that I'm swimming in. Don't go anywhere. Hey, is that the same cousin? Where? Oh. No, no, no. no that's she has a cousin that's 
Miss Universe 1988. Fun fact. Fun fact. Yeah, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Look her up. Oh, hell yeah, I won't go in there. Look, like, you got a swimming pool in the backyard? Hell yeah, it's cannonballs all day long. But lakes and oceans, I can't see stuff? Nope. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Because a shark will either kill you... Or belly flop. Or if you survive, you're traumatized forever. <laughs> well, isn't there like some sort of statistic out there that says shark attacks happen less frequent than car accidents or something? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you see the movie Open? Was it Open Water? Oh, the it was a doc, documentary style type movie yes. with the two. Yeah, I saw that. That was freak yourself. Yeah, could you just put yourself in their position. <laughs> Jesus, I would just look for something to just end my life, just swimming around. How could it, this, you can't even find anything to kill yourself with? <laughs> oh my God, that was, that was horrifying to watch. Kind of like Jaws Ultimate Predator for the Wii. <laughs> sort of. Kind of exactly like it. Hey, believe me, I want to like this game. It's it's refreshing. Hey, you play a shark. Who doesn't want to play a shark? It's awesome. It just... Ugh, just no, damn you. It definitely had potential, um, but you need some sort of... Well, I guess there is a story in it, but it's just not done well. I mean, in the, look, look, what year is it? It's 2011. You can't come with graphics like this. Let's step it up. I think Wii Sports has better graphics than this. Uh, <laughs> dude, you weren't even close on that one. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> oh, I like this. That's kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> but I think it's what you said. They paid a lot of money for the Jaws music that they had nothing left for the development of the game. <laughs> Wow, wow, you got some harpoons in you. Oh, that's a great graphic right there. The harpoons got stuck in me. Huh? Great graphics, right? Right? No? Okay. <laughs> like, even if... I think the developers had to know that this game is not going to be taken seriously, so even if they added some humor, you know, into it, maybe you could dress Jaws up. Humor or more polygons. Yeah, more polygons. Uh, this just seems like it's a, this finished version seems like it's a raw version. Yeah, yeah it does. Like a demo or like a beta or something. Yeah, it totally looks like a, a first draft. Here's an idea we're yeah. working on. And you know, this game does come with a lot of levels. We're only like, not even halfway through the, all the levels, right? Yeah, there's like fifth, maybe fifth level and there's like, we like, oh, how far are we? There's another 10. Yeah, so it's a good amount of levels, but I think it's kind of slow with introducing you to what else is out there in the deep blue, you know? If maybe they had a little less levels, but packed in the enemies and diversity into each level, it would have been much better experience, or at least a little bit better. I don't know. Be cool if uh, someone else just took this idea and like maybe a, a Activision or someone called maybe like Rockstar and just I can only imagine how cool it would be. What was that whale from uh, Marine? No, Sea World. I don't know, but it'd be cool if they had a game. Okay, now listen. <laughs> it'd be cool if they had a game that you were a whale in Sea World and you suddenly snapped. <laughs> and you took out your trainer, but then your trainer kind of sees where you're coming from, and your trainer rides you through the ocean. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, it would have been definitely better than uh, this. <laughs> I think Camille's just having a stroke right now. I'm sorry. Don't become a game developer. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> it's like, is this a love story? Is this a Connect game? Like, what's happening? Is this? This is like Michael Myers and his doctor, uh, just with a fish. Well, it would have been better than this game. <laughs> hey, that's new. I'm just kidding. I saw that for the hundredth time. Get some divers. I want to see some divers. Uh-oh. How many times have you said divers? Because that's the only thing here that's exciting. Oh, there's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at me. 
Whoa! I'll get out of here. Oh yeah, go in there, go in there, go in there. I tried to. You're yeah, supposed to go in there, actually. Horrible controls, horrible controls. Horrible controls. Really? Okay, there we go. There we go. Safe. In a tunnel. With the... <laughs> okay, I think you're, in this next piece, I think we're gonna see a... Here we go. Some story. This is Dr. Dan Lowe from Project OI. I heard you had some of our specimens in your custody. That is correct. How may I be of assistance? <laughs> I'm looking for a great it doesn't sound like data. serial number GW a little bit. 20675. Yes, we have it. <laughs> it is one of the largest we have ever seen. Is it alive? Yes. It was captured by locals this morning and turned over to us. Fortunately, the captain spotted our equipment and realized it was worth more alive. Where is it now? In a holding tank. It is scheduled for release in a few days. You need to transfer it to an isolation tank immediately before it's too late. This shark is extremely dangerous. See, and this is, you know, it sucks that you're six levels in. And now it comes of a bit of a mission, you know what I mean? Like I wish it was more fast paced in terms of what Jaws had to do. Like maybe escaping the tank two levels in. Speed burst. <laughs> oh my God. Speed burst did nothing. Or you could just do that, that worked. You can throw like a voiceover. <laughs> I, th I think we established that there's no money left. Okay. <laughs> the music does sound exciting, doesn't it? Mm. Anybody with me? No, no. Okay. A little. I I'm over it. Where's the Jaws music? Um, they use it at the beginning. They also sort of throw it in when you ha when you get those sort of canned animations when you make you successfully sneak up on someone. If they're paying that much for Jaws, well, music, we don't know. I want to hear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Break through that glass. Oh, you know what would have been cool if Jaws had, you know those little sucker fish that stick on to sharks? Yeah. And then he could send them out, kind of like how Ram sends out those little Real. curls. That would have been cool. Now for things that we like. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've seen enough. We get the gist. Mr. Jaws. Are you, how many more of these you gotta break? No. Are you still not through this glass? I think you should have learned by now. We have like three more levels of breaking glass. <laughs> Go through this damn thing. Are you out of there yet? Oh, I think you made it out. Yeah, do you know speed burst? It's double Z. Go! <laughs> Jesus. Right. You refuse to use the speed burst. Oh. I don't. There we go. <laughs> Free Willy. <laughs> Not exactly. Oh, come on. Gotta keep going forward as you're 
doing that speed burst. Oh, and I go down. Oh. Yeah, no shit. You failed. <laughs> Frustrating the controls. Failed. The controls. Tim <laughs> refusing to use the speed burst. I don't know. Give me the controls. Anyways, <laughs> that's it for this game cast. It's Jaws Ultimate Predator. It's for the Wii. It's out this week. And we are so, so sorry. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs>